सिक्सटी उड़ीसा इंफॉर्मेशन टेक्नोलॉजी फेज ऑर्गेनाइजर बाय बाहर इंडिया एंड भुवनेश्वर और अनदर ऑनरेबल गेस्ट डॉक्टर महापात्र डॉक्टर राम एंड अदर फ्रेंड्स the people connected with the IT sector, brothers and sisters and media friends. I am a, not a suitable chief guest for this function. I was the Minister IT from 2004 to 2009. At that time I was connected with the IT sector starting from allowing land till the investors come and put the investment in the state. I was associated in those days. But right now, after 2009, my portfolio changed to revenue and disaster management. Right now, I am the Minister of Revenue and Disaster Management. But then I am associated with our India, which is publishing a magazine, perhaps it is the only magazine given free of cost in the country. Till 2009, I know, I don't know what happened after 2009. Yeah, yet you keep it free of cost. In those times, you used to give this magazine free of cost to all over the country. Of course, you collect the cost of the magazine through advertisement, I agree. But this is a very good system we follow in the country and distributing. Since then, I have been associated with them, and wherever they used to have their such conference I used to attend in Delhi, in Mumbai, and in Odisha, wherever they did, they attended. Mr. Deepak Sahu, the publisher, suddenly called me here, perhaps I didn't get a chief guest, so he asked me to come. And I wanted that I should be with him here. Because I love our India, I said, when can you come, there is no problem. And at least I will see the friends right now who are in the IT sector. I do find many new faces, I do find many old faces. Two sectors are here. But I will tell you, our country was governed in three manner in the last decade. We have been ruled by British people prior to 1947. And our administration was called by name colonial administration. British people used to administrate us. The administration was a different time. At that time there was no industry in the country. There was no such huge commercial business was not in the country. IT was not at all there at that time. They have wireless telephone system at that time. British was only depending on the revenue of the land at that time. So they were very much interested in how to collect the land revenue. So they had a lot of system at the time. They have appointed a lot of intermediary to see the cultivation of the land and get the land revenue. And they are counting by after by how they are properly calculated and keep it. For that, the money who was collected by half the business were called collector and they were mostly white people. So nowadays also if you go to the collector's house, the people who are working in the collector's house will say, Saiwa Soichuti. Saiwa means white man. At the time, British one used to employ only white people as they collected. India got independence. We became a democratic country and the administration continued. Continuous of the governance is there in this country. But two last 30, 40 years under the administration of the present democratic government, we do find a system which generally we call them as a white color red temperature administration. White color red temperature administration. Generally we say for a smaller thing, a man goes to a tonsil office, or to a block office, or a mandate office, or any office, any administration center, the file is covered by a red cloth or a red paper. So we generally say it is a red temperature and actually the borrow of the clerk is to blackmail the people to open that red color paper and that administration is going on. Fortunately now we got a science called electronic science and a war degree has come that 
electronic governance system. The government started the electronic governance. Now we are in a state of electronic governance. Government of India and state government are putting a lot of money on this sector. But generally we find whatever the interests are with the companies do not get into the subject. The government machinery is not that much interested to implement the e-governance. We do find a lot of problems by implementing the e-governance. For that, sometime back, two, three years back, there was a proposal in the government of India to train up the legislators, ministers and government, uh, state government secretaries by some teachers that are how to have e-administration and e-governance. So there were classes organized in Hyderabad, there were classes organized in Mumbai, Goa, where all the MLS ministers were taken by in the flight to that state and kept in a hotel and teachers are brought and they started teaching them regarding e-governance. And while they were teaching the politicians, the politicians they didn't know that they are having so much money in their budget to study this children. Only very good country. Somehow, right now we are in a stage where e-governance helps us like anything. Well, I will tell you and I will come to my department first. I do love to have no department. You know, one of the my another main subject is regarding disaster management. If there is an earthquake, if there is a cyclone, if there is a flood, if there is a drought, to face that one is my department's responsibility and I am also to do that particular job. You know, there were three cyclones in this state in the last 70 years. In 1971, there was a cyclone in Odisha. In 1971, 38,000 people died in the cyclone. 38,000 people died in the cyclone. There was a cyclone in 1999. 17,000 to 18,000 people died in that cyclone. Recently, in 2013, there was a cyclone. Total, that was 21 million. Why? I will tell you, the only, my administration at that time was only a small mobile. Sitting in my house, I administered the state in such a manner that I could save the life of thousands and thousands, all the death and the Indian people. I do tell you, the cyclone came at 12th night. On the 6th night, while at the, that was a festival period, the Sarah festival period, I was in my council Suddenly I got a telephone from one of my friends from Mumbai, who said to me by seeing CNN idea that he saw a view and picture given by satellite in one of the channel, channels in Mumbai, in Hindi channel and, and also repeated by CNN IBM, that a low pressure has been found in the way of Panga at a distance of 1150 kilometers from Odisha, but to live from Parad into Kalingapatna. So he ran me over phone, West of East there is a cyclone and it is at a distance of 1150 kilometers and as you are looking up in this parliament, to Immediately I ran to my secretary after telling that, Mr. Tara and Mr. Mahapatra who is our SRC. From my counsel, they sent over mobile. I tell you the importance of mobile and tell <coughs> That I told them that I got the information from my friend from Mumbai that he saw in the media. And the cyclone is heading towards Odisha and Andhra coast and uh, we must prepare to face that cyclone. That was the only lesson I said to my officers. In the return, my secretary Tarat rang me and uh, Sarchi rang me. The Sarchi secretary is out of season. He is a driver. He will be back, he'll coming back to, to headquarters the next day. Sir, you come in the night. I said, I am on the way, I am reaching tonight at any cost and convene a meeting the next day morning by 10.30. So a meeting was convened to all the officers of the state. <coughs> meeting was convened in my name. 
morning I cut a vento my kitchen stand. I told him what I saw in the late night Shailam Ayven and other media regarding the possibility of the cyclone coming to the child. An accident to my CM. My CM only told one sentence to me, Mr. Patro. The report says that in 1999 cyclone there was a death of 17,000 people. But the instruction given to my, my CM to me that I must try it. That does not have to be carried. Then again, I started talking to my officers how to make it zero casualty. Because the information that was coming our power to us that the velocity of the low pressure which was found at a distance of around 50 kilometers moving towards Odisha and Andhra coast at a the distance covering in every hour 18 kilometers with a velocity of the speed of the gate of 75 kilometers per hour. And IAP and American Navy, these people were informing us trying to die that it will slowly increase the velocity of the air as well as also the speed of the uh, movement, speed movement of the uh, low pressure. Within one day, the low pressure comes to it, severe pressure and cyclone stop. The uh, American Navy and IMP categorically said to us that it will touch Urisa coast and other coast by call the night. Every day morning, I was talking to all the collectors of the coastal district over a video conference. And right now, our in Odisha, we don't call for any meeting to any collector with the secretary. Previously, for smaller meeting, he used to call the collector to come to secretary. All the personalers were asked to come to collect secretary. Right now, I don't call it. My every department, I have a video conference in My CM is also having a video conference. Just Mr. Mahapatra was telling me that how they are also delivering the things in video conferencing. I do also talk to my officers in every week or every fortnight. All over the state to the collectors and the other revenue officers regarding new policy, new program, new action to be taken. Only to video conferencing with him. And previously the order used to be sent by both now don't send it. Only online, online we give it to the house officers. And that is worked out in the Somehow every day we met and ultimately we said that within the 5 kilometers radius of the coastal line, nobody should stay. Nobody should stay within the 5 kilometers of the coastal line from Malaysia to Kenya. Even in some places, I know in 10th and 9th, that means when you have visited, the people from Venezuela put the left coast line. The people in Puri district left the coast line. The people in Kandabra district who left the post line. Unfortunately, in my own district, they take leave. They say, we have a lot of money, we can't leave the house, we have property, we have gold, we have documents, we can't leave. At last, on 10th night, I have to leave the police force and do nothing than getting inside the house and make them throw out of the houses to leave the house. We have evacuated more than 9 lakhs, 38,000 people in six regions. Particularly in the Nyan district, more than 3 lakhs, 2 lakhs, 3 lakhs. To higher places for buying this. The cyclone came, and you must have seen all the scene like cinema, you must have seen how you must have seen how it came, how it captured everything. The whole night we were there, my CM, myself, and all the people were in the second day for the whole night. And the next day morning, 13th morning, after got the beautiful details that the United States of the government officers, collectors, and the administration, and media particularly, I congratulate them, they have uh, definitely my speech and my message was definitely hard never they show to the people and successful people have appeared. I tell you here, if there was no system of video conferencing, if there was no system of mobile, even me, not me, my father could not have said to me. We are the only two able to tell me for that we are successful. So right now in government sector, government is also key to work out the governance in the sector. 
right now in our state, in my revenue department, we have started a new program called the e district program. What is an e district program? You people go to Tasil Appeals for obtaining many certificates. You have KF certificate, you have Solomon certificate, you have Nativity certificate, many certificates, six or seven certificates are used by persons as. And it is generally required to everybody. If you want to get admission in a college or a school, you want a KF certificate, you want a Solomon certificate. So it is very required. So you have to go and apply everything. Now, experimentally, we have started two districts that is in Bhairavan district and Nanyang district. That is in E administration district. Where, through common service center, you can directly apply, apply to Tashita. And a stipulated period, you will get the six kinds of certificates aligned by paying small We are successful in two districts. Right now, we are planning and we are also in a progress, progress in the all the districts of the state, the system have been so certificates. Besides that, you know, land is a very hard subject. I look after the land of the state. You know, there are a lot of frauds are happening in land. Some X sells the property to Y, Y sells to X. And generally in our mind, by seeing a document, we purchase the property by seeing a document. There are so maps of modern uh, documents are a guide in the market. Recently, you will be to know that I have recovered more than one lakh crore of worth of land, which had, had been wrongly recorded in the name of the people of the state in the last 30 years. I have returned back to the government department. One lakh crore. Three days ago, only in Kandak, I have filed cases in High Court to recover 30,000 crores of the property which is recorded in the name of other people. We have really back in the past 70 or 1970, 80, some unscrupulous officers have recorded the property in the name of some private people by taking bribes. So we are arresting those officers and also arresting those people who have done this wrong thing and also cancelling the record and getting the property in the name of the government. So, suppose you want to sell or purchase a property, you should go to online revenue department of police, who make then the plot which you are going to purchase and sell, that you have to see is a block number and khata number. Immediately you will put you will know from the computer the owner of the land. We have kept all the property of the state and online. online. The Sale and transaction is done by e-registration, e-registration. <coughs> Recently, I am going to start the settlement. Previously, people used to do settlement by taking a chain and other things and manipulating the area of the land. But right now, we have started the electronic settlement system. A new act has been brought in the house. And in the first, we will implement in Nanya, Korda, Patak, and Kehunda. Subsequently, we will do in all of the state a new type of settlement where the sector measurement of the land will come. We will take the photography of the site below of the satellite and also the measurement will go through by ETS system. Then we will compare it to the final method in the people. So, these two systems will bring to the state like it. So, government has started very seriously electronic administration and with e-governance in the state and go down the But to get more and more people to dislike, of course, nowadays in the whole world, the recession is going on in the subject and the economy, so there is some prominent employment. But it is only temporary here. I am told that last year, the turnover of the state uh, uh, on the IT sector in 2000 crores and uh, more than 50,000 people have worked in the sector. So recently, we saw government had a new IT policy. Our chief minister signed and uh, declared it. Under the system, they have decided in 2020 to so have 60,000 people working in the sector. And 
24,000 pro Ikana one will come on my system. That is the planning under the new policy. And they have allowed 30% subsidy, that is input of machinery and infrastructure, 20% from the government of India, 20% from the state government, to make the making of the policy that they have given it. So government wants this sector because you know IT is such a subject. In whichever city IT goes, the color of the city changes. In whichever family one boy comes with a IT immediately down, that color of the house also changes. In common, you know what I I used to go to USA, you know, when the city gear is gone in between once or twice to get the investment to reach out. 20-25 years ago when I used to go to USA or other private destination, hardly I could find an ODA man in those countries. But recently, last in 2006, 2007, 2008, 2009, when I went to USA to interpret the people to come to Asia and invest money, where I could find thousands of ODA doctors and boys are working in the US and the sector. But in Sanao City and Francisco, San Francisco, I do find a lot of Uriya culture working in the sector. In Dallas, a lot of Uriya culture working in the sector. Everywhere you go, all over the country. So this has opened the way. It has opened the way of going internationally our world in the IT sector. After the globalization, the things have completely changed. Thousands of our boys are working in other countries. So the Odisha's GDP is now one of the highest in the country. Not in agriculture, but only industry and major centers come from this IT sector. That is the main thing. So this is a sector which has to grow up then very much. And efficiency, efficient service will come to will be rendered to the public by this e governance system. Odisha in particular is very to tourism. And I trust in people who are in this sector how to work sincerely and get more investment and take the opportunity to our government to give to that new policy. Thank you.